For my commemorative speech, I will actually be in costume. I will be doing a eulogy uh, set at the end of the Arkham City video game. Uh, Harley Quinn will be doing it for the death of the Joker, which came as a shock to everyone. Mostly because he uh, actually died from a disease, not from an accident or death or Batman finally snapping and killing him or anything that people would expect. Uh, in order to truly be in character, she's very chaotic and random and sporadic. So it's really hard to kind of structure it, putting points together. Because the purpose of it is to have, like, that there's not really a structure, that nobody really knows why she's so in love with him because it's an extremely abusive relationship. So I'm going to have to really put in a lot of work into kind of a scripted spontaneity instead of, like, complete structure. But the main purpose is that she's completely in love with him, mostly because it's the only man that's, or person for that matter, that's ever really paid attention to her. So that's kind of the whole point is that she's convinced the rest of the world is going to miss him because she wants everyone else to love him as much as uh, she did. So it would go something kind of like, the first time I ever met him, he asked me if my friends ever called me Harley. Well, I told him that I didn't have any friends, but he called me Harley and I've been his Harley ever since. And even though he's gone now, I'm always going to be his Harley, because my pudding just wants me to keep blowing up the city, even though he can't. And I can't believe that dirty old Bats never saved him, fixed his blood in time. Damn Batman fixed his own blood. But I'm just going to have to go and do it on my own, which is why I've captured him, and I've stuck him in a machine. But I don't know how it works. 